Hi everyone, I'm Janelle with Tunes Unlimited and today I'm going to show you how to create your own custom palette for your projects, especially if you want your characters to share a similar skin complexion or maybe the same color shirts or pants. I'm going to show you how to create your own custom color palette that will match your project. Coming up next. TunesUnlimited.com Okay, so I'm back and here we are. We have three characters here. Um, one of my characters, Dexter, and a couple of the standard G2 characters. And as you can see, they all have different skin tone colors. They all have different shirts. Um, but if I wanted them to look and match up similar, eh, they don't really have the look that I want. Now, a while back, Relusion kind of um, tinkered around with color palettes. So they had different ones like Business and Neon. And, and this is great, but there's a big flaw to the color palette. And I've actually done it as well. I've made color palettes. And the biggest issue is you don't know what you're going to get. you got a bunch of colors here. But you don't know what they are tied to. And if you want to create a custom one where you want to know exactly this is going to change the skin tone, this is going to change the shirts, I'm going to show you how to do it. And it's really simple. So the first thing we're going to do is determine what do we want these characters to look like and what do we want them to be um, have the same. So in my case, they can keep their same color hair, their brows, their eyes. I want them all to have the same skin tone. I want them all to have a, a green shirt, um, some brown pants, and maybe some black shoes. Okay, so I have this very simple color palette like an artist would do when they're painting. And I want to make some notes. So I'm going to write down the things that I want to change. I want them to have the same skin. I want them to have the same shirt color, same pants, and same shoes. Everything else can be, for the most part, their own unique identity. So if they got blue eyes or green eyes, purple eyes, I don't care. I just want them to have the same skin tone, same shirt, same pants, same shoes. So that's what I'm going to work with. But before I get started, I got to know what my characters have. And I'm going to hop back over to Crazy Talk Animator to find out. So we have Emma here. And... I want to know what controls Emma's shirt. And it looks like that will be, let me reset, make sure I got just the shirt. Um, let's see here. Her shirt is controlled by upper one. So let's see what controls this guy. Let's go back. He's controlled by upper one as well. And let's go over to Dexter. And his main color is um, the main color inside of his upper torso is controlled by upper one. So we know for shirts, if I change upper one, I know what my results is going to be. So I'm going to go back and you can write shirts will equal upper one. I will know that. Now for skin, there are two different skin tones. Um, let's switch back. There is skin one and skin two. And skin two is apparent in maybe Emma's freckles and maybe his um, cheekbones. So I'm going to find out. I'm going to select it and I'm going to move some colors around. And yes, this will control skin too for him. And let's see here. Her nose and freckles will be affected by skin too here. 
And I'm not sure if Dexter has a skin too. Looks like he does. Let's see what goes on there. Don't see any changes. So it looks like he doesn't have anything that's affected by skin too. But I do know that since two out of three of my characters have a skin too, I want to make sure that this has skin one and skin two. Only got two more things left and that's the pants. So let's hop back over and let's find out what is being controlled by the pants. We have a lower three and that's definitely her pants. Um, he has a lower one and two. Oh, let me reset, make sure it's selected. Let's see here, lower one controls the very bottom of his pants. And then lower three controls his main pants. And then for Dexter, oh, don't want a purple guy. Let's see here. Lower two does not seem to do anything, but lower one changes his pants color as well. All right, so to make them all have the same color pants, I need to have it tagged for lower one and lower three. So let's go back. Lower one and lower three. And then finally, we need to find out what affect our shoes. So we have some shoes here. Her color seems to change on shoe three. His color seems to change on shoe three as well. And since he has multiple colors for his shoes, let's see here. His is affected by shoe one and shoe two. So basically we need to use shoe one, two, and three, and they will all need to be the same color if I want to make all of their shoes change at once. So I'm going to go back and it's going to, I'm just going to put shoe one, two, and three. This will tell me how many circles I need to make because it's going to be my palette. So I need to make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need eight circles on my palette wheel to make all of my characters have the same skin, same shirt, same pants, and same shoes. So it's really simple. We're going to go ahead and draw eight circles. And hopefully these won't be too big. I should be able to get eight on here. So let's start off with the skin. I have picked a nice color out for the skin. So I'm just going to pop this in. This is going to be skin one and this darker color will be skin two. For the shirt, we're going to make the shirt green. That's going to be our upper one. Upper one looks like it controls everyone's shirt. So we was fine with that. Now for the pants, we're going to go with a nice light tone. And remember, we need two slots because we need to control lower one and lower three. And then finally, the shoes. We're going to make the shoes just a, a nice dark color, something like this. And we need three colors to do it. So one, two, three. To be honest, you can do two things. You can either make your colors slightly modified so that you can tag them a unique um, tag, for example, lower one, lower two, lower three, or 
I could simply take this character back into um, the vector tool and re-tag his pants to match with theirs. So if they are all on lower three and he is on lower one, I could simply take him back in, find his pants color, but you would need to go back and change the thighs, the legs, and the torso. And now when I go back, if I wanted to, I don't have to have all of these different variations just to make their pants the same. I can um, now eliminate one of those colors because I've already manually changed them to match up. So here's our color scheme. And if you wanted to make little notes to yourself and I can write on them or near them so I can say, put a little arrow here and say skin one, skin two, shirt, These two will represent the pants. And these three would represent the shoes. Right? And since I put my notes on the palette, we no longer need any of this stuff because we have officially picked the colors we wanted and we know the tags that we need to program them in to make our color palette. So it's nothing left to do with this. We're simply save it, we'll export it as a WS file. If you have Adobe Animate, you can do this. Adobe Illustrator, you can do this. Any software that will let you export in an SWF format, you can do this. So I'm going to call it color palette and I am going to go ahead and minimize this and we're going to be back at our character now from off the side of the screen I am going to go ahead and drag my color palette in as a regular prop and you can see it's all right here as well as the different tags that we used So let's go in and make these the right color. We simply just need to wait for our color to highlight. So this is one of my shoes, right? So I will go and I will find shoe one and I'm going to tag that. This is my shirt, which is upper. Remember, that's my upper one. I will tag that. The skin one. Here's my skin two. My pants. Um, and that was going to be lower one and lower three. So we'll find the other one and make that lower three. And the rest of those circles were just shoe two and which one are you, big guy? Here we go. Oh, they're the same color and shoe three. Okay, so I've gone ahead and put all the characters back to their original colors and we got everything tagged now. So it's nothing left for us to do but see how our color scheme came out. So there we go. Emma looks exactly the way we want her to look. Green shirt, brown pants, black shoes. Skin tone matches up and, and Dexter. So here we have a similar look but different characters and you can make as many of these as you want. Anyone who matches that um, style should turn out the same way especially if those tags are the same. We can try it out with this character. 
there. Let's see if we can also find someone like Walter, which is another one of Illusion's default characters and see how he turns out. Okay, and I'm just gonna make this a little smaller so we can get all of our characters on board. We got Walter here and let's grab little J. And we'll see if we can at least get their skin tone and maybe their pants up to match. That came out very well and so did he. So once again, really great way to make your characters look the same, have the same skin tones and um, same look and you can save this template for whatever you want. You can go back and make quick changes to stuff that you already got pre-tagged and that way your characters can be the exact color you want them to be and you can have them match any way you like. And if you just wanted only their skin tone to be the same, then make a color palette with a skin one, skin two. And then that way, anytime you want to use that skin tone, you just go and pop it in and everybody's got the same skin tone. Hope this video helps. Once again, it is great to be back. I have missed quite a few um, questions and concerns. I'm actually getting back up to speed and working on new characters myself. But if there's anything I can do to help, I will try to assist. Until then, take care. Hey, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. If you would like to purchase any of my products, head over to my store where I sell characters, props, and scenes. Stay tuned for the next video and take care.